hoping you two will become close friends. We were gonna get in so much trouble this winter break. Oh yeah, it's gonna be the best two weeks of my lives. I keep pinching myself to make sure I'm not dreaming. Well, lucky that I came along and corrupted you. To the best friend I could ever ask for. My ultimate ride or die. Ride or die. All right, that's uh, part of the trailer for Cruel Summer, season two of the popular anthology series premieres tonight on Freeform. Now, it introduces a new cast and centers around an intense teenage friendship with a deadly secret. It also stars DC's own Lexi Underwood, who you may also remember from her role in Little Fires Everywhere. And this morning, Lexi is here to talk all about her latest role and more. Good morning to you. Good morning. Welcome home. Thank you. Well, so come for on. Me. Tell uh, so what what part of DC are you from? I'm from Northeast. Northeast, yeah, so you can tell you. Okay, well yeah, good. You're very good. Race. Making it big out in, in Hollywood. Right. And I've, you've been out there for a while now. I have. I've been out in LA for the past eight years, I mm -hmm. would say. Uh, right. but it's always lovely to be able to come right. home. Right. Great yeah. to be able to come home. So we're talking about you doing big things with this Thank new you. well, it's it's a new show. Mm -hmm. It's a new series. Yes. Different it's a new part two. New part two, yes. Yes, there yeah, you go. Yeah. All right. So yeah. So tell us a little bit about it. How, first yeah. of all, how did you get involved in it? Right. So I um, just like a lot of people, I was a fan of season one when it first dropped uh, in 2021, and I was incredibly excited to hear that they were doing a season two. But then when I found out that it was an anthology series and that it was going to be a new story, I was even more excited. Mm -hmm. And so I joined the cast kind of later on in the process, but I was kind of thrown into it. So as soon as I dove into the role, I was just incredibly excited. I'm such a fan of the structure of the show, being able to see a character progress throughout three different timelines in the span of one wow. year. It's quite a challenge as an artist. Um, but it's also really rewarding to see, uh, you know, on the uh -huh. on the flip end, I think that audience members, I, that's what intrigues audience members so much about the show, and so I can't wait for people to see our interpretation right. of Cool Summer. Okay, about you now, explain a little bit about your character without giving anything away. Yes, okay. <laughs> um, so when we first meet Isabella LaRue, she is um, very charming, she's confident, she's alluring, she's going into the small town called Chatham um, to basically, she's an exchange student, so she's mm -hmm. living there for the year, for her senior year. Um, um, when she gets there, she has very clear ideas to the life that she wants to live um, throughout the next year. Um, and she is a girl who, when she wants something, she goes out and gets it no matter what, regardless of her circumstances. Um, but as we see over the span of the 10 episodes and the year, um, that facade, that confident, charming, alluring girl that we see when we first meet her, it's a facade, and mm -hmm. that slowly starts to crack, and we really go beneath the surface and explore the layers of what it means to be just a young teenage girl making mistakes and trying to figure out life. Right. Dig a little deeper. Yeah. Definitely dig a little, dig, deep. dig a little yeah. deeper. All right. So what is it about um, acting and this whole uh, television movie genre that, that you enjoy so much? Um, it's... The arts have just been a passion of mine ever since I was younger, growing up, you know, here. I've literally I've went to, like, Jones Haywood, mm -hmm. uh, Dance Institute of Washington. Like, I was just constantly surrounded by arts. And as I got older, I fell in love with musical theater. And it's just, for me, my first ever job was Lion King on Broadway. And I remember, it was also the first show that I saw on Broadway. And I remember the moment that I decided that I wanted to do it. I remember just seeing a bunch of actors that looked like me, black actors that looked mm -hmm. like me, and understanding that what we do as artists is incredibly impactful. You know, the representation, when we say representation matters, it really does. Mm -hmm. um, and so as a young 10-year-old girl, when I first watched it, the feelings that I felt while seeing those actors and artists, I wanted to make other people feel the same way with my art. Um, so I'm just really grateful that I've been given the space and the platform to be able to do so. What else you got going on? Um, I, right now, yeah. we got Cruel Summer coming out, and then I'm also in a new movie called I Wish You All the Best, which will be airing at the top of the year. We have, mm -hmm. um, be out on Sundance, if anybody's gonna be, you know, over there for Sundance, and then lots more stuff. I have my own production company that oh, I, wow. just, yeah, that Your I created. Your own production company? I do, yes, it's called Ultimate Dreamer Productions. Uh, I started it when I was 15 years old. Wow. Um, yeah, and <laughs> so we have lots of incredible projects that I've been really fortunate to be able to collaborate and work with with some incredible artists. Um, um, but I'm very excited to be able to release more information about the projects that we're working on with the okay. production company. All right, well. and then you, do you have any downtime when you're at home, or is it just running around seeing family? I know um, anytime I've ever gone home, it's like, yeah. 
I gotta run all over the place. I'm <laughs> kind of running all over the place. I feel like a little <laughs> bit of a madman, especially because the show comes out today. Right. Um, but I'm just like so incredibly excited to see all my friends and family. We're doing a little screening tonight. So okay. I'm gonna have everybody over and hug on everybody and love right. my people. And then they'll say how much they appreciate you exactly. and all the big things you're doing. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for spending time with us this morning. Thank you so thank much. You. It was a pleasure. All right. It's, it's nice talking to you as well. Thank so you. there you see the information right there on your screen. And continue success in Hollywood and come back anytime when you're when you're back home. Thank you. Come back Absolutely and, and visit will. us. I'm sure you got a million projects that you're gonna be doing over, <laughs> over your entire career. I appreciate it. At age 15, already got a production company? That's amazing. <laughs> All right, you can watch uh, season two premiere of Cruel Summer tonight on Food Forum. And stream tomorrow on Hulu. All right, Katie Steve. All right, it is 10:50. Coming up next.